Hey everyone, Emily Sky here. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite kettlebell workouts that targets the booty, because we all want a great booty right now, don't we? So what we're gonna do is we're doing five different exercises. We're gonna do them one after the other without any rest. So we're gonna have high intensity, which is great for fat burning as well. And at the end of each round, we're gonna have 30 seconds rest and then go into another round. So if you're a beginner, you can do four rounds or five. And if you're a more advanced, you can do up to eight rounds. So it's pretty challenging. Make sure you're hydrating yourself enough because you're gonna be sweating all that fluid out of you and uh, warm up properly as well. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a kettlebell swing. So what you're gonna do is set yourself up with your feet about shoulder width apart. Toes can be pointed slightly out. You're gonna find a position that's suitable for you because everyone's different. And you're gonna lean forward. So I always put my kettlebell out in front of me like this. And then you hike up and then thrust forward. So you're using your hips. This is like an explosive deadlift. It's all through those legs. So I'll show you on the side. So it's out in front of you. You're coming forward, you hike, and then thrust using those legs. So you're not lifting up with your arms like this. A lot of people do a squat and then lift up. It's not that. So this kettlebell comes between your legs and then you're thrusting using those glutes to drive it forward, keeping your arms down at your sides. And then to stop, just let it slow down and then place it out in front of you. So you're gonna choose a weight that's suitable for you. So between 15 and 25 pounds is a good weight, but you want a weight that's challenging for you, but you can also perform the exercise with the right technique. It's really important. Okay, so the next exercise is another favorite of mine. So we're gonna do a wide leg squat. So you can either hold the kettlebell out in front of you like this, or you can have it down like this. So you, your legs are really wide apart, toes are pointed out, you're always keeping a nice tight tummy, no matter what you're doing. So you're gonna come down, and then back up again, squeezing those glutes. So you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Each exercise we do is gonna be 30 seconds long. Keeping your back nice and straight pushing through those glutes. So the next exercise we're gonna do is a Romanian deadlift. So you set yourself up with your feet shoulder width apart, so that's slightly more narrow together. And then you're gonna start with a really tight tummy, shoulders back, heads neutral, and then you're gonna slightly bend your knees, and then lower the kettlebell down, back up. Now this is not all in your lower back, yes you do use your lower back, but it's a booty exercise and your hamstrings. So you're coming down, so you're hinging back with your butt and squeezing your glutes to come back up again. Keeping your back nice and straight, keeping that core tight. So do this for 30 seconds. Next exercise is one of my favourites, it's called the glute bridge and you're going to use the kettlebell as the weight across your hips. So you're going to get on the ground, get on a mat if you've got one, if you need to you can roll up a towel and put it between the kettlebell and your hips so it doesn't hurt or you can use a mat. So you're coming back on the mat, ground. So the first thing you're going to do here, it's really important, you flatten your back to the ground and thrust your, you tilt your hips, hips forward. So instead of being like this, flatten your back to the ground. So you're going to rest the kettlebell right here on your hips and then you're going to thrust up, squeezing those glutes to the top, not overextending, just keep it nice and flat so your back's straight and then coming down again. Keeping that tension on your glutes, making sure that you don't start arching your back. So you don't want to start like this and thrust from there, keep it all locked. So you do this for 30 seconds. And then the last exercise is a bit of a fun one. It's called the figure eight. So again, we've got the kettlebell. So we're gonna start with our feet about shoulder width apart. Remember a tight tummy, shoulders back. So we're not like this, they're just down. The head's always neutral. And then we're gonna lunge back. Lunge back, pass the kettlebell through, and then come back up again. And then do the same on the other side, pass it through, come back up. So you need a bit of balance for this one. Really pushing through your glutes, making sure you don't fall over. And then 
you do that for 30 seconds as well. So that's my booty kettlebell workout that you can do anywhere. I've got one of these at home. I do that workout when I can't get to the gym and it's great. Gets my heart rate up, gets my booty fired up and working and shaped up. That's what we love.